Hello everyone, my name is Dredden, and we are back in 7 Days to Die. We are going to just gather up our stuff, I think we're going to head back to our previous area. So, yeah, let's have some fun. Alright guys, so I'm pretty much hot off of the last episode, um, in terms of where we are in the series. Uh, it's been a day for me, it's the next morning. I'm um, feeling good. So, uh, I think... Uh, man, I really like this area though. Um, I would like to come back here for Horde Night. Uh, which is in four days and do something with this area down here But I don't know um, I did want to build my castle over in the other area and so I think one of the things we're gonna do Yeah, we're probably gonna Where uh, it's still goofy <laughs> Why won't you turn off? Oh, thank you. Oh, man What kind of silliness is that? Okay so, we are just gonna kind of gather up some stuff and kind of go on an adventure, I guess. Just sort of bring our stuff back. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. They keep changing things in weird ways, unless of course, it's one of those off by one errors again. But uh, if we take all these guys and we go, and we search up our uh, bellows, leave. It now also uses duct tape and nails. Um, <laughs> okay. That's... I'm sure it makes sense. Um, you also don't need to seal it so well, but, uh, yeah, okay, that, that makes sense, too. Um, but, you know, <laughs> they haven't even updated this yet, but so, yeah, this must be new. Ah, so much for tutorials. That's okay, it's just a general tutorial. Um... So, um, what we're gonna do, I guess, is probably make some more of that. Uh, we have our pots now, so we can just scrap all those, finally. Which will be good. Um, we wanna take our two extra bandages. Uh, so what, let's see here, is we need a general strategy. I mean, things we wanna take are gonna help us in the long run. We don't want junky things. Um, maybe instead of leaving right away, we could talk about what's going on with that section that I was sort of pointing to. Because, yeah, we can build a cool little base there that I don't know if you've seen some of my Adrenaline Scientific videos talking about base designs and such, but there's a little thing you can do there that's a little bit different um, with having things fall down. Anyways, we'll get, we'll get to that. It makes more sense if I just focus on this first. Um, yeah. This is not as good as the stuff that we have on, because what we have on right now is sort of a military-grade light armor. So, that's pretty good. Uh, this would, would be great if we can find a light attachment for it. Um... Because, let's see here, what we have on is not as good, right? It's worse by 2%. This, so the, actually, I guess what we have on is got 8? Huh, that is interesting. Huh, you'd think that the armor rating would be better on the military helmet. But it has better effects resistance. I don't know. Sure, whatever. I don't know about military helmets. Okay, um... So, I don't really need the glass. Uh, not for a while. We're gonna bring... This. I wanna get the potato seed. Um, I mean, yeah, so the general strategy, yeah, bring the stuff that we will want. All this other stuff gets to stay here. We probably want the bottle of acid because it will help us get a bicycle. Which I guess we should probably do sort of really quick. Maybe we can um, crank out a forge today. Yeah, uh, and we will probably have to come back to this place and grab the little um, two table saws out of here. And we'll bring those to our other base. And other than that, there's like a chemistry station down there. Um, yeah. It'd be cool if there was actually like models for the destroyed 
chem station because when you think about it really like like okay well what makes it actually destroyed right like it looks okay did someone come in and smash everything in which case you know then it actually looks destroyed but it looks like as it is it could just kind of like put it back together you know it would be cool if it was actually like smashed uh, apart and stuff okay anyway I want to go up the other way, so I guess we just actually go down the backside, but meh. Just in case sleepers have spawned in here again. No sleepers? Thank you. Yeah, I haven't had time to come and do anything here. It being the weekend, this is the steroids, which we would be requiring. I don't think I... I may as well leave that there. Why not? Yeah, three more pots. This is a pretty central location, so I could come through here. I mean, I'll probably bring, like, another pot with me. So I can go down, but I can always swing by here and grab things. It's always also nice to have, you know, repositories if you die for some weird reason and you gotta, like, go places. But, I don't know. These are all weird strategies. It was pointed out to me, too, that this is a terrible location. Uh, if you were to do this in like multiplayer because someone could just come by and just snag your stuff which makes total sense i mean you know at the very least put it like inside or something would be better um but i don't know i don't really do many multiplayer things so yeah probably be best to like put it down there or something to be honest down underneath anyhow so once again there's more of this these are all like weapons that are just, I don't know, I haven't really done much with. Or a, another fire axe. Uh, do we have any nails in here? No, we don't have any nails. So, yeah, I don't know. There's, uh, I mean, I guess the seeds are super important overall. And yeah, I guess that's another point against staying here is that there's no real water right here, which is a problem. Like now I'd have to go, I guess, over the hills to the river over there or back over to the lake where I am to get water. Actually, there's probably water. Where is this precisely? I think there's a lake over here, but still like that's as far as this lake is. It's not really that great. So there you go. Okay, anyway, let's just grab a bunch of junk. We'll, I'm going to come back through here. Probably with, like, a bike or motorbike or something. And dismantle everything. But for now, I don't really need to do much of that stuff. I uh, will probably need another chest with me. You can always come back and make checks, pick them here. So, yeah. Probably really need these. The bullets are great. Um, yeah. You know what? The bullets are great. Let's scrap another one of those. That'd be some good stuff. Um, more jars. Uh, jars are good. Then we can just get a lot of water happening. Scrap that. Casings I'm not really interested in right now. Gas. Well, we'll worry about that. We'll sp we have to come through this area a lot more. Um, cause there is the, what is it, uh, how does this exactly work? Traders there, so then there's the bookstore, there's a bunch of houses, and then there is the working steps over here. And then of course the farm, and Navs gain. Uh, yeah, roughly. Yeah, so anyhow. Is that how that works? I may as well bring this food because I have the steroids, you know, I just may as well just carry everything and run with it. Uh, well, maybe I'll leave this here. We'll bring a little bit, leave a little bit. Yeah. That way if we're running by. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. This is way off. So I have been playing the winter mod and I wanted to uh, play it actually today, but... It uh, just wasn't going to happen today with the way things worked out in my life. But that was... By the time you see this, that'll have been three days ago or something. 
finally a little bit caught up, which is amazingly rare for the last few months. Okay, let's grab this stuff. I'm pretty tempted to leave this one here. I mean, if I bring this animal fat, I can make new stuff here. Ah, I don't know. Torn. Torn. And we'll bring this because bandages are good and more torches are good. So, yes, bring more feathers. I left the food downstairs for a reason. This will bring. I mean, we're trying to like fill up on stuff that's useful, right? So, may as well grab the things. We have that. More bullets. Uh, we're gonna scrap that pistol, I guess. I don't know, it feels weird scrapping pistols. I, like, I don't know if I like it. It just, it's very strange to me. These iron arrowheads, um... I don't know, man. I've been finding a lot of steel arrows. And so... And having ten of these is kind of um, almost more annoying than anything. Grab that in the old cache. We may as well leave this wrench here. I mean, why not? One electrical part. Probably going to be annoying when we just don't have it. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, beyond that, did our, let's see, do we have another Magnum? I think we have a Magnum. a set of bullets and stuff with us. We want to bring the beer. Because that would be good. Now, let's see. Sorry for all the inventory stuff, but like this is just what we got to do. Um, cause I'm thinking for some of the stuff we needed for Horde Knight. Oh. But yeah, let's talk a little bit more about this area here. So, one, two, three, four, five, hmm, six on this space, seven, eight. So 16 high. 16 high is enough to do the zombies maximum, well, not the maximum damage, but some of the damage. I gotta refresh on that again. It's um, one of those things that seems to be, I don't know, not quite lodged in my brain yet. But uh, what else do we have here? So we're, yeah, we're just gonna chat about this and just figure this out. We're not gonna put this one down. We're just gonna use it to count how many spaces specifically there are. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Fifteen means that if we wanted to, we could not span it com completely, or could we? Fifteen. I think fifteen is the weird number where, like, it will sometimes work, but if you add extra weight to it, it will sometimes collapse right on the very end. Unless they've changed that. 14 is always a very stable number, but 15 carried on two sides could have, could be okay. Mm. We could always run a singular pillar up, or maybe two pillars on each side. Or something like this one. But I'm thinking I might want to build my sort of ladder fall trap. Um, which would basically, because of the way that these buildings have paths in them already, I mean, they may not even use the ladders, but I find that if you put the ladders on, then they become the easiest path for them to go and use. This is just a weird vent. Sorry, I just kind of got distracted. I'm like, why is this not going all the way up to where all the air would go? What kind of vent is this? for a boiler or a fire like that would just scorch your wall with icky black paint no one would want that ah whatever who cares anyway so if we were to say in the center here um there we go i'm also thinking i almost want more zombies or a little more difficulty i don't know maybe i might do some streams with some like Insane always run stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven on this side, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that would be the 14 and the 15. So we could actually do a three platform in the center. Maybe what we could do is build something way taller than this. 
but um, something maybe like more frames please something kind of like this for us to stand on in the center here I was thinking on the other side but I don't know the other side I could build it more more of it um yeah anyhow then what we would do is I guess we would clear this junk and put ladders up to there how many one two three four five this would be the exact amount that I have space on my other game so that would be okay and then it would just be a matter of putting a small little uh, lip thing on it maybe you wouldn't even be needed um now it's not a perfect design because the zombies do often jump across it there's that design and a couple of other ones to work on um oh, i am very loaded up with stuff a bunch of dogs come i am just gonna get eaten that's all right though then there's yeah this whole thing which uh this one looks to be maybe seven over to the road six or seven to the road and probably the same on this side six or seven on this side plus five four or five width of the road i'm gonna say five i don't actually know for sure so you could actually do a much greater number of pillars i might do something like gna horde mode where it was like pillared on the inside with well spikes are kind of useless but little um quarter blocks or half blocks or something on the on the top where one could fire down at the zombies with uh to defend their blocks but anyways it would also be you know laddery on the sides another design i've seen um from ironstorm 4 uses um, a bunch of stairs for the zombies to climb up but i'll probably do that more as a uh, base design talk kind of one you know so yeah let me just take a look see if i have any more junk to bring with me all right guys so i uh finished sort of searching up a bunch of the stuff around here not saying I searched everything but ah oh, there we go nails great uh but i did search through all the rest of the buildings just for extra chests and stuff that i had laying around Blah. <laughs> it is time to use one of the well, i just found another steroid too because like i said i didn't really search this building as i was going through it because i was so busy trying to kill all the zombies but i went through and just uh did a quick search of most of the things and so yeah got another one of those we'll bring this we have some space so i guess we'll bring that um there means we have a little bit more space to carry stuff um hmm I don't know, we'll just grab some random stuff here. Oh, use. Oh, I found a meat stew, so that's good. We'll probably have that before we go to. And uh, that'll be good. Um, Yeah, I don't know, because it's just like... I don't know, people just bring some weird random stuff with us. It could be useful in the more distant future. Uh... Yeah, even the fortifying grip maybe might be better than those because I can always find more of those along the way. Okay, so we're just gonna run back along the road. Ah, oh, though on the other hand, can we get some more dukes? Because we're gonna go right past the trader. It seems almost a, sh a shame to not. Cause there's enough parts, right? There's enough of these like components and such anywhere else. We'll use this now. Not perfectly amazing to use it right now but hey you know we'll grab this guy and that guy and this now what else can we kind of condense or not need eh bullet casings are eh so we'll just sell those things eh maybe even the fire axe too we have one parts it's a lot of parts i don't necessarily want to leave all those behind but oh, on the other hand Ah, oh, jeez. Let's just turn this recipes. Oh, see, then I'm just start to like. Yeah, I do need them for a bellows. Duct tape, craft. Probably make the bellows right away. Recipes. Nope, not quite. How many nails we need? Oh, what? 
What don't we have? Oh, it requires five duct tape. Well then. I guess we need to bring it with us anyway then, because yeah. And there's more arrowheads, so yeah. There's more arrowheads upstairs, meaning that we are 17 here. That's all right. Let's go. Now I was thinking I kind of do want to have no parts, like no things. I guess there's a workbench, so we don't really need that. I don't really want to buy much stuff, but we need to buy some advanced engineering or whatnot. So that we can build a bike, I think, because I don't... Without modding it, there's no way to have extra bikes in the game, so... Use... I feel like my stamina is... Oh, okay. We're at 100 and something already, but I feel like it's not really going that quick, so... Anyways, guys, we will just finish going here. I know it's been a bit of a different episode with this... Uh, going on. Yesterday I spent a lot more time modding things. So now I have... I've started the tutorials on creating... the uh, weapons, like mods on weapons. So that uh, we can do things like, you know, make custom axes and make have different handles with different properties right so anyway that's all started i figured it out late last night uh which is also why i'm not streaming today so yeah that's sort of how it is this one had okay so this is the chemistry stat i can use so there's there's i do have a full set of things to use for a base. This is the worst of the trader bases. That's <laughs> in my opinion. It's made out of freaking wood. It would collapse in no time. You, Hello, Joel, would be dead. Can I see your inventory? I wish to sell these for small amounts of money. Ah, oh, I really want the money. I need to get the mod D that you can unload the guns. Because that would just be better. Oh, looks like maybe we got ammo out of that one when we sold it. So I'll have to go back and see if this went up as I was selling them. Okay, let's uh, sell all this stuff. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're going to have a lot fair bit then. Though this isn't actually... Selling it like this doesn't do crap, I don't think, anymore, does it? Oh, apparently we did get a level up for that. Huh. I don't know. I was thinking it would be not so useful, but maybe it is. A structural brace. That would be pretty nice, to be honest. Scrap helmet? That's probably really heavy. Yeah. Oil. Military fiber would be useful. No, nope, don't want the smoothie. Now, electrical fence posts. There's only one, though, which is almost not really useful, but we could buy it to start off with. Um, to start some good stuff for Horde Knight. Get all this stuff on our own. Buckets, well, that's a lot of buckets. And an iron pick, oh, that would be pretty good, too. It's pretty cheap, though I would think I would find one somewhere soon. But you never know. It's cheap. I'm gonna buy that. And where did that wonderful must be in? I'm looking for the oh and nails, but there was no duct tape. Was there? Tape? Nope, no tape. Glue? Glue? No glue. Fine. That's fine. We would like you buy that. We don't have any of the other stuff, but it'd be kind of nice to have that. Just in case we get some of the parts we need. Though these rebar frames, because there's a lot of concrete around. Let's buy 10. And just gonna go up from there. I think I'm just gonna fill up on these. Because they are useful. Too many. That many. 
there. I don't know. Come back sometime. No problem, Joel. Up, down, up, down, over. There we go. So yeah, my thought there is that I'm going to need those to build my castle -y thing. And I have a bunch of cement, but there's more where we just came from. Uh, let's see here. If I remember correctly, the base, yeah, it's just over there. Urgh, so full of stuff. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, it's kind of cool to be able to get to the point where um, most of the modding stuff that I had from Alpha 16 is mostly converted over. And I'm now starting to learn some of the newer stuff with like, yeah, adding mods to weapons. I think that's pretty good. One thing I have not seen in this game very much that I think is weird is I'm wandering hordes. People keep talking about them, but I haven't been getting any. So I don't know if it's just because I'm all over the place. Oh, right. Uh, we need to get our wonderful bedroll happening again. I'm just dropping these, aren't I? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Let's get in here and unload. And then we will grab some more. Oh, maybe I'll just do that on my own time because really that's just a bunch of maintenance. And after today, I don't know, I might, I hope I have time to do some stuff where we just, where I can just get some things done, not have to worry about uh, the time progressing and stuff. Okay, we can repair that. Or bar schematic. Yeah, so I'm just gonna unload this stuff in a random fashion and I'll try to sort it out on my own time. We have the other axe, good. This potato seed. There, that's pretty much as much of the stuff as we need to unload. But there we go. Great. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button, and if you are new to the channel and like to see, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.